I was reflecting on the nature of AI and what awaits us in the immediate future. While I was thinking about this, the idea of the dead internet theory came back to my attention. The dead internet theory states that all the content of the internet is not actually human, but is entirely controlled and manipulated by AI. Which of course is true to some degree now, as the majority of all traffic on the internet is non-human entities such as bots. But a further consolidation of the internet under the control of AI could easily be coming down the pipeline for humanity. It got me thinking, again, the whole idea that we've created something that can replicate so much of what a human can do, at least online, so early in its lifespan, is something that should truly give us pause to think. Everything that AI is less than great at doing currently seems due to improve dramatically in the near future. The rate that AI is improving is staggering and alarming. Artificial intelligence is already doing things like playing chess at a higher level than any human in history. It has surpassed the collective human knowledge, skills, and study accumulated over centuries in a matter of just a few years in a game that is considered to use many facets of human intelligence. It's a more prolific writer than any human could ever hope to be, and its art and music are gradually working their way to being on the level of a well-trained professional human. Or even more precisely, not just replicating the work of one human, but doing in a matter of seconds what used to take an entire team weeks or even months to complete. This all got me pondering the question, what is something that AI cannot do that humans can? Is there anything it would not soon be able to do far better than humans? Is there even one thing that humans can cling to as being solely a human trait and a human accomplishment? It was initially thought that the last thing AI would be able to do is to replicate art and music, yet it is already at the point of surpassing us in so many senses, in achieving these very human feats. It is hard to think of anything that it will not be able to do. If all companies had the money and systems in place, even in its current state, artificial intelligence could easily replace most desk jobs, office work, and any type of task that requires sending emails and organizing data. It is stunning to think about the idea that the systems in place for AI conceptually are not even that complex. It is a very simple premise how most artificial intelligence works. It's simply learning, finding the things that it's programmed to do which bring about a positive outcome and then finding a more efficient way to do it. It's just a learning algorithm. The idea that the entirety of the internet could be replaced by AI simply doing that Replicating everything that a human could do begs the question, what is so special about a human anyway? We've moved from the fakeness of media to the fakeness of social media, which was far worse, with the hidden advertising, the sly agendas, the politicization and polarization of the population, to a realm of even more thorough and complete fakeness. With the fakeness of media and social media, it could almost be understood as at least humans were involved, but now we move to a realm where there are no humans even involved in the input. The words, images, sounds, speech, and ideas shared on the internet will soon be completely devoid of human input. You will not see anything actually human. So then, what even is a human that we can so easily be replicated? Is there anything? Is there anything that AI cannot replicate about a human? I racked my brain because something told me that there was an answer, a meaningful answer to this question. Someday there might even be robots that look just like us to the point of being indistinguishable, that have a lifelike skin texture, lifelike eyes, that not only speak as they can now, but speak eloquently and thoughtfully. In the future, it's easy enough to see that they'll also react to speech like a human, react to situations like a human, say things as a response to external stimuli like a human. It lends itself to thinking about consciousness. Already, AI can mimic human speech, faces, and facial expressions. It is easy enough to see that at some point, AI will be indistinguishable from us from the outside. 
it's a matter of what's going on underneath. Because the AI could replicate taking in the outside world and reacting to it based on the values that we've instilled in it. On the outside looking in, it might be indistinguishable from a human, so it begs the question again, what is the difference between us and they, when they become so advanced? What is it that humans can do that AI will never be able to do? And then the answer occurred to me. Suffering. This is something that occurred to me when reflecting on the nature of art itself and why AI is so bad at understanding it and replicating it in a meaningful way. Because what humans love in art is a reflection of being human. We love narrative, suspense, and resolution. A condensed, tangible story of life as a human. That's what we're drawn to in art. That's what makes a great movie or a stunning painting. Triumph over tragedy, heroism in the face of evil, sorrow, pain, but perseverance. Artificial intelligence does not operate in this human dimension. It cannot know it. It cannot even experience evil or bad things in order to make the decision to fight against it, to sacrifice in spite of it. And in a world where there is no suffering, there's no narrative. There's nothing to fight. There's nothing to endure. There's nothing to overcome. No release because there's no tension. No heroism because there's no evil to fight against. No resolution because there's no conflict. No value fighting for something because there's nothing bad to oppose in the first place. The thing that is so obvious that AI cannot understand is suffering and to sacrifice for something that it loves and believes in. We humans really and truly experience pain, loss, and sorrow, and we live in a fallen and brutal world, something that a learning algorithm spewing out lines of text will never know or understand. This is also why I believe a machine will never truly be conscious, conscious in a way that only a human can be, in a way that says we choose to fight and suffer in this world for what we believe in. We can choose what we believe in. Machines might be programmed to do selfless things, even to the point of sacrificing themselves in some cases, but they could never make the decision to do so. They can never choose it. Regardless of the illusions of all that's said otherwise and all the narratives around the threat of AI, artificial intelligence will never ultimately be able to be autonomous. The highest form of autonomy is the conscious being that chooses to sacrifice itself. This will always belong to humans and to the image and likeness of the God that we were created in.